Mandy Zajac with EastValleyTribune.com and today we're asking people what they think about Arizona's voter ID laws. Uh, yeah. No well, if you're just uh, talking about the uh, ID, as far as showing ID, I think that it's a it's an okay thing. I don't see why not. I don't see why it would become an issue. You know, you should be able to get ID if you're, in fact, an American citizen, right? Uh, so it shouldn't be an issue unless, of course, you're not supposed to be here. Then, of course, basically you don't have basic American rights. Okay, I agree because I think that if someone's visiting or they don't live here, they might not have, like, the good of a idea about what's going on here and what we need as opposed to what we don't need or things of that nature. I've got, you know, typically I'm asked to use my driver's license and I got my voter ID card. So, yeah, I, I think we need to tighten that up a little bit. And why do you think so? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a, I think it's a U.S. citizen privilege to uh, be able to vote. You shouldn't be able to. I mean, you shouldn't have to show your ID to vote. If we're in a free country, why do you have to show yeah. your ID to vote? That's stupid to me. If I'm voting for somebody that's going to make laws or something that I have to abide by, then I shouldn't have to show my ID if I'm voting for this person. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm an American. So what, what, what does American stand for then? 